Embark on a riveting journey through the hidden annals of England's history. Uncover the forgotten tales that lay beneath the shadows of Great Britain and the United Kingdom, as we unveil the epic saga of England's inception dating back to the formidable year 927 AD. Brace yourself for a thrilling exploration into the tumultuous evolution of this remarkable nation. As the echoes of the Roman Empire faded from the British Isles, the stage was set for the rise of Anglo-Saxon Germanic tribes in the land that would become modern-day England. Witness the dramatic events unfold as native Britons, besieged by the fierce Picts and Scots, gambled on embracing Anglo-Saxons as saviors. Successfully vanquishing the Scots and Picts, the Germanic tribes turned the tables, establishing dominance by the early 7th century and laying the foundation for the legendary kingdoms of Essex, Kent, Sussex, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. Venture through the ages as we delve into the enigmatic chronicles of these kingdoms, shrouded in mystery. But beware, for challenges awaited the Anglo-Saxons on their path to glory. In 793, a Viking army descended upon the Lindisfarne Monastery, catching the unprepared Anglo-Saxons off guard with their brutal onslaught. Feel the pulse of history quicken as East Anglia succumbs to Danish invaders in 870, followed by the loss of Mercia four years later. Amidst the chaos, Wessex stands as the last bastion of Anglo-Saxon rule against the relentless Viking team. Hold tight as we unravel the gripping tale of England's birth amid clashes, conquests, and Viking invasions. The saga unfolds with the Battle of Eddington and the strategic prowess of King Alfred, shaping the destiny of Wessex. Marvel at the rise of Athelstan and the consolidation of territories, leading to the pivotal battle of Brunenburg that echoes through time as a symbol of English triumph. Breathe in the excitement as England faces the resurgence of Viking threats in the 10th century, navigating through periods of conquest, reconquest, and power struggles. The text encapsulates the heart-stopping moments of Edmund's retaliation, echo the peaceful transformative reign, and the establishment of the foundational laws and structures that define the Kingdom of England. Embark on this exhilarating odyssey through the corridors of time, where the birth of England is not just a historical event but a pulsating tale of resilience, triumph, and the forging of a nation that echoes through the ages. The presence of England is frequently overlooked and insufficiently explored, possibly due to the overshadowing historical narrative of Great Britain and the United Kingdom. Nevertheless, England's existence predates these unions, dating back to 927 AD. So, what led to the formation of England? who inhabited the land before the English, and how did it evolve into the nation we recognize today? As the Roman Empire declined in the British Isles, the territory corresponding to modern-day England witnessed an influx of Anglo-Saxon Germanic tribes. Following the departure of the Romans, native Britons faced assaults from neighboring Picts and Scots, prompting them to welcome some Anglo-Saxons, hoping they would repel the invaders. Successfully expelling the Scots and Picts, the Germanic tribes turned against the native Britons, establishing their authority by the early 7th century. The Anglo-Saxon rulers then instituted the kingdoms of Essex, Kent, Sussex, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex on the British mainland. Subsequent centuries saw minimal records regarding the events within these kingdoms, but it wasn't long before the Anglo-Saxons confronted invaders of their own. In 793, a Viking army landed at the Lindisfarne Monastery, shocking the unprepared Anglo-Saxons with their violence. By 870, East Anglia fell to Danish invaders, followed by the loss of Mercia four years later. As the Vikings advanced into Northumbria in 875, Wessex remained the only major kingdom under Anglo-Saxon control. Upon the death of Wessex's king, Athelred, his brother Alfred assumed the responsibility of defending the kingdom's independence. Initially paying off the Viking aggressors, Alfred eventually led an army against them, resulting in the Battle of Eddington, where the Danes were defeated. A power vacuum in Mercia allowed Alfred to gain control, establishing an alderman to answer to him. After the death of the King of Wessex in 911, Edward the Elder and Ethelflaed succeeded, intensifying pressure on the neighboring Danelaw and expanding their territories. In 917, Ethelflaed extended Mercian territory to York, where the locals pledged loyalty to her. Despite her death, her daughter, 
Alfwin, was ousted, leading to an opportunity for King Edward to seize control of Mercia in 918. Anglo-Saxons continued expanding into Danelaw territory, and by 924, all newly acquired neighbors had pledged allegiance to the king. Edward's son, Athelstan, took over in a confident position, marrying his sister to the Viking ruler of Northumbria. Ethelstan's expansion continued with an invasion of Scotland in 937, facing an alliance between Alba, Dublin, and Strathclyde. The Battle of Brunanba resulted in a decisive victory for the English, solidifying unity and national pride. However, Alba and Strathclyde remained independent, and England had to prove its ability to incorporate them. Do you like beautiful stories? So, subscribe to the channel to continue receiving beautiful stories every day. The Vikings returned in the late 10th century, taking advantage of England's temporary instability after Ethelstan's death. Viking ruler Olaf reclaimed territories, but Edmund of England retaliated, reclaiming Northumbria and pushing the Vikings out. Edmund's ambition extended to Strathclyde, but only its southern territories were incorporated into England. Edmund's mysterious murder in 946 left Edard as King of England, marking a decade of conflicts over Northumbria's leadership. After reclaiming Northumbria, Edard's death led to a series of successions until Edgar the Peaceful fully consolidated England. Under Edgar's reign, reforms and preservation of Danelaw systems aimed to maintain peace, unity, and order. Edgar's efforts laid the foundation for the Kingdom of England. England's ultimate formation was a lengthy and tumultuous process, from the Anglo-Saxon immigration to the establishment of kingdoms, Viking invasions, and territorial struggles. The Anglo-Saxons eventually united existing kingdoms, solidifying borders and, under Edgar the Peaceful, establishing the foundational laws and structures of the Kingdom of England. As we stand on the precipice of England's triumphant saga, the legacy of Edard paves the way for a succession of remarkable leaders, culminating in the visionary rule of Edgar the Peaceful. Brace yourselves for the grand finale, where England's destiny is fully realized under the banner of unity, peace, and order. Edgar's reign emerges as a beacon of transformation, as he not only reclaims Northumbria but orchestrates a sweeping series of reforms that echo through the corridors of time. The preservation of Danelaw systems becomes the cornerstone of his strategy, forging a path toward a harmonious and united England. In the crucible of history, we witness the birth pangs of England, a tumultuous journey from the arrival of Anglo-Saxons, Viking invasions, to the relentless struggles for territorial dominance. The narrative unfolds with an unyielding spirit as the Anglo-Saxons, against all odds, unite disparate kingdoms, etching solid borders on the canvas of time. Under the resolute leadership of Edgar the Peaceful, the Kingdom of England takes its first breath, guided by the foundational laws and structures meticulously laid down during his visionary rule. This is not merely a historical account, it's a heart-pounding saga of resilience, triumph, and the forging of a nation that stands tall against the test of time. So, as the dust settles on this epic chronicle, let the echoes of England's formation reverberate in your soul. The journey may have been long and tumultuous, but behold the triumphant spectacle of a united kingdom, destined to leave an indelible mark on the annals of history. England, in all its glory, has emerged from the crucible, an enduring testament to the unwavering spirit of its people and the visionary leaders who paved the way for a kingdom that would captivate the world. Do you like beautiful stories? So, subscribe to the channel to continue receiving beautiful stories every day.